just needs tightening it up a little bit. You have the adjustable spanner there with you. <laughs> under the radio waxing machine. <laughs> I'm not going to look under there. What if it explodes right in my... F we're recording. Hello? Hello? Yes, it's recording. Sorry about that, everybody at home. <laughs> it's Professor Pompernickel here. You caught me in my laboratory. This is the first of many videos, I hope, all specifically for Eureka in Halifax. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to my first experiment. Well, it's more of a demonstration, really. Those of you who have known me before will uh, realize that this is one of my favorites. It is my large spiral disc. We're going to see if this works as well on screen as it does in real life. For those of you who have not met me before, the name is Professor Pumpinickel. Yes, Pump a nickel, not Pumpy Nickers. So here is the large spiral disc. I'm going to begin to rotate it rather slowly. All you guys have to do is get yourselves nice and comfortable and watch closely. So at this point in the video you may wish to pause the video whilst you go and find yourself a a one pence coin, an old penny, a one pound coin, even an old paper clip, anything small which you can hold in the palm of your hand. All right, so now you have found an object. Keep it in the palm of your hand and look at the screen. We are now about to start the spiral rotating. Here we go, we're rotating, we're moving, we're traveling down the tunnel. Keep your eyes focused upon the central point. Do not look at any other objects in the room, just the rotating spiral. I will count to three, and when I count to three, I'm going to stop the spiral from spinning. At that moment, you will then open your fingers and look at the object you are holding in the palm of your hand. Here we go then, are you ready? One, not yet, not yet, keep looking, two, keep staring at the spiral, two and a half, we're almost there, three, open your hand. What are you looking at? Is it moving, twisting, expanding, contracting? Doesn't it look weird? That is some freaky stuff. So if you didn't catch that the first time, let's try it again. And this time, look around your room the, uh, that you are in. Can you see a painting on the wall? Can you see a poster in your bedroom? It works really good with somebody's face. So let's try it again. Here we go. Eyes upon the center of the spiral and rotate. There we go, traveling down the tunnel. Keep your eyes fixed upon the center of the spiral and do not look away. One, two, two and a half, we're almost there, here we go. Are you ready? One, two, three, and stare at the object you have chosen. Isn't that strange? Whoa! How about a final project you can try at home? It uses persistence of vision. It is an old Victorian toy. It is called the Thaumatrope. The Thaumatrope. It is an ancient Greek term. Thauma means wonder or marvel. And trope means to spin or rotate or to turn. So it is the wonder turner. Yes, the Thaumatrope. Here's what you need to make your Thaumatrope. You need some crayons or some colored pens. You need a piece of white cardboard. This is just a piece of scrap cardboard I picked up from the garbage. You need a piece of string. Here I have cut it into two pieces already. And you need a pair of scissors. Now please get your grown-ups to help you here because you do not want to be cutting yourself with the scissors. Let them do that bit. And finally, you need a sharp object, usually a pencil, but I'm using my center punch from my workshop to pop a couple of holes in the cardboard. So here's what we do. We take a round object. We place our round object. We draw a circle around our object to get a perfect circular shape. Then, asking one of your grown-ups, get them to cut out the circle. There we have it our circular piece of cardboard. Now what we need to do is we need to pop 
two holes into the cardboard, one right at the edge, right through. There we go, one hole there. And the next one in the same location at 180 degrees from the first hole. Now you begin to draw your image. So I'm going to draw a cage. This is a cage for a bird to sit inside. But something is inside of the cage and that something is a bird. So here's my bird. I'm going to make him a bright green color. Turn your thermotrope over. Then, once you have done this, thread your string through the little holes and tie them in a knot. And now your thermotrope is ready. So take the string between the fingers and the thumb, pull tightly and twist and spin the thermotrope as fast as you can. The quicker it goes, the more effective the image becomes. And you can try all kinds of different images. Let your imagination go wild. Here I am using a goldfish bowl and inside of the goldfish bowl, a goldfish. Spin it around. Use your imagination, go wild, have lots of fun with these. Remember, it's a phenomenon known as the persistence of vision. Well, that concludes my very first video for Eureka, the National Children's Museum in Halifax. It is an interesting place full of inspiration, wonder and science learning. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Professor Pumpernickel signing off. Professor Pumpernickel is the correct pronunciation, not Pumpy Knickers. Thank you everybody for watching. I will see you next time. Stay safe, keep your hands clean, and above all, have fun. Goodbye for now.